So today we're tying the RS2 fly, that's this, and I'm tying it in a BWO color, and this size 20. Firehole sticks, number 419. It's just the hook that I had. Usually I use risen hooks, but I didn't have one that will work for this, so this is what I'm using. I just don't, I don't have any dry fly hooks that are that small from risen. I, I do believe they make a 20, but this is just what I had. So we're gonna place the hook in the vise. And the thread I'm using today is Vivas 16 Ott in like a dark olive color. We're going to start our thread. And I always leave like a little space right at the head. You don't have to. Now this time though, we keep the thread on and you'll see why in a second. Next I got these micro fibbits. And uh, they're just like the clear, I think they call it cream. So. You want to separate out two of them. It looks like one right now, but it is two. They're really small. Clip them off. So you want to measure out a tail. Um, these generally have pretty long tails. So right about there, maybe about a hook shank length tail. And then I do a pinch wrap to get it started. And then you can Make sure it's secure and then hold the the thread down as you wrap and you're just gonna bring it back pull those fivots up to make sure that they're positioned correctly and that the thread is underneath it the the tag end and then just use your fingernail or something to push up on the fivots so once you bring it down you have your thread down you come in between the thread and keep your thread straight out the back in between the thread and the fibbits once and then bring up over and then use your nail to separate out those fibbits just slightly okay so then you come up through between those fibbits with the thread and sometimes it's tough to position them correctly but you just want to separate those out make a wrap over your thread and then you can pull the thread slightly to just separate those even more you want those pretty separated all right once you're happy with it make a couple wraps to lock those into place and you want some really fine point scissors so these are the mittens from risen fly this fly is a small fly so you it really benefits you to have these really micro sized tips you just want to you want to cut off both the thread and the rest of the fibbit, okay? And then we're just going to come back, wrap or two right towards the back. You can see how those are splayed outward. And next, I've got this. It is our um, UV2 fine and dry. You want something really fine. I've got the BWO color here. That's what I'm going to use. And you pull out just a super small amount. In fact, that's too much. Like, really, really fine amount. Like, we're not using very much at all. You want to separate it a little bit. So you want to dub these on, uh, this on, super tight. I mean, to the point where you almost don't see it there. Like, touch dub it. Okay. And push it up semi-close. Give yourself a little room here. As you can see, I mean, it's... It's barely on there. So we are gonna wind back a couple wraps to right be right um, right behind the tail here, and we're gonna wrap over the tail once. Again, really tight. This is almost too thick. And we're just gonna start making touching wraps up with this dubbing. You want a nice even body. And that actually is not enough. So let's get just a little bit more. And you do not want these to be tapered. You just want a nice even body. And you can see I came up almost up to the head there. Uh, maybe an eye length shy of the eye of the hook. Then I've got these. These are CDC Euler Puffs and the Medium Done. And that's um, the medium done. I mean, you can use any color you want. Depends on what color you're you're making it. But that's these. They're really kind of fuzzy, 
and I find it really helps to wet these. And there we go, so now it's wet. You wanna take your scissors, come in and just make a super even cut. Cut that tip off. You lay that right on top. Excuse my fat fingers in the way. But lay that right on top. Make a pinch wrap right up by the head. And you can see that it's sticking up over the eye. And that's okay. We're just going to work this back by pulling it back so it's not over the eye. And now we can tie that in. Make a couple wraps to really secure it. Now we're going to get a little bit more of that dubbing. Dub this on really tight. Now I might have put too much on. You really don't want much. And so what I'm going to do is wrap a couple times over it. And I'm going to pull this back. I'm going to make a wrap right behind that wing. Okay. And then another wrap over it. And build up that head just slightly. Oh, that was a perfect amount. And then we can whip finish. Come in with the scissors, get really tight in there. Again, these are super fine tip. You can tell the difference between these two scissors and the tips, how fine they are. These are considered, this one is a fine tip, but these are just extremely fine. This is the razor scissors by Dr. Slick and they're good, but I wouldn't say for this, you need something really fine like these mittens. All right, next, we're just gonna come in with the scissors at a downward cut. So we wanna keep the scissors straight up and down. We're just gonna cut it off so that way, it, if we were to pull it back, it would actually touch the back of the, the fly right before the tail, but just like so. Hmm? There we go. You can see when we push it back, it's just barely touching right before the back of the tail. I didn't do a perfect cut on that. And once that dries out, I mean, we wet it, right? So once that dries out, that'll puff out and look really nice. I didn't do the perfect cut. That's okay, let's get, let's, let's fix that. There we go. Looks more like a RS2. There we go, that is the RS2, pretty simple. Solarez Ultra Thin, bone dry, they call it. You could use anything to cement the head. You don't even have to cement the head if you don't want, but it definitely helps. This stuff is really nice, and I'll show you why. So just a little touch on the whip finish, and that's, that's it, just that. And it is a UV resin, and you just cure it with UV light. And there we go, that is hard, that's not gonna come loose, that's gonna secure that whip finish really well. And by the way, if you notice, when I shine that UV light, see all those little little stuff that kind of pops out there? That's the, um, it like brightens up. Um, that's the UV uh, stuff in this UV tube Diamond Bright. And I find that, or I'm sorry, Fine and Dry, it's not Diamond Bright. Fine and Dry, the UV tube Fine and Dry. It's, um, I find that it really helps kind of get more strikes. I, I'm not sure if it's the science behind it, but the fish really do seem to pop more when I use this stuff for these type of flies. So it's up to you. You can use any kind of super fine dubbing. Um, they make something called super fine. That works too. So anything really, but anything that you can get really fine like this. That UV2 really, really helps, I think. So, so this fly, um, it is a really small fly. It works really well as an emerger. Obviously it's an emerger. Um, but it'll sit right with that CDC puff. It'll sit right below the surface film of the water. You can also sink it. So if you put it behind a, uh, like a beaded fly, you could do that and get it down if you wanted. It just depends um, how you want to fish it. But it is versatile in that way. Um, it is not a dry fly. It is an emerger. So it's not going to sit on top of the water. It just looks like a little midge that is coming up through the water, emerging basically. Or in this case, a BWO because that's the color I'm using. And these are probably one of my top, I don't know, five flies that I would fish on the San Juan River when I fish there. They do like really small flies. And this does allow you to have a, you know, it, make it small. It, it is semi-simple. It is difficult to tie though. So 
keep in mind it does seem simple but once you get you know get tying it you realize there are a few things that you need to do to um, there's a couple techniques to kind of keep it in the same shape and what what you need um, that dubbing for instance has to be super fine um, you have to you have to dub it on really really tight so and these fibbits on the back they're not super easy to use um, and do but that little trick with the with the thread I think really does help it'll help separate those um, keep you from having to tie in between to kind of keep them separated just makes it a little easier so hopefully this helped if you guys want to tie the RS2 hopefully this was able to give you a little bit of help and um, guidance for it if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't already also please subscribe also check out my sponsor risen fly they are the ones that made these scissors um, they also make great hooks by the way um, I just didn't have them today so this is what I'm using but uh, they make great hooks um, rods reels um, just anything you need to fly fish and everything they sell is great price and very high quality so definitely check them out go to www.risenfly.com and the best part of this is they're offering all of you a discount for your first order so anyone that subscribes with me just go to uh, risen.com type in mcfly at checkout and you'll get 15% off of your first order with them so load up your cart anything you put in there will give you 15% off. You're really not going to find better deals anywhere for the quality of their, their gear. So the rod, for instance, they have a $119 rod that I think is one of the best rods I've ever fished. Once you put in that discount code, it comes out to right about hundred bucks. So a hundred dollar rod. And I'm, I'm telling you, I've got, I've got very expensive rods, some sages and whatnot. And I actually like that rod even better than some of my sages. So, um, it is a really high quality very good rod. I mean, it outperforms some four or five, six hundred dollar rods that I've got. It's just, it's a really good rod. Good all around rod, really. So good for dry fly, good for um, streamers and nymphing. I mean, it's just, it's really good. So definitely check them out. Well, anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Now you go and catch some fish.